All right, so we just got into this amazing um, convent. Um, it's an incredible place. It's sketchy, though, because there's security all around. So you kind of got to be careful and quiet. And uh, they definitely drive around, and they have literally, like, rocks in front of every door. And they have every door, like, secured. So it was a little bit of trickery to get in. But um, we got into this front door here. See? See the Art Deco. Even on these windows, you can see it. Here's like the old ticket booth, ticket window. And this is the main engine. You get a lot of flare looking into it, but you can see it like this. And look at that. Original handles and everything. If you come over here into the lobby, it's extraordinary. Look at the details. This lobby is extraordinary. see all of the walls in here are marble. The columns and the walls. Each one of these has some granite too. Or like these doorways here. is just unmatched. And granite again. Marble stairs. Even the stairs are all marble. If you come over here, look at these elevators even. These elevators are incredible too. You can see all the decay on the floor. It's like stainless steel, maybe. Clock up there, or speaker or something. You can actually see some of those details, like right there. Here's the main entrance to the main stairwell. Here's behind the stairwell. Beautiful detail there. But you can really see some of the ceiling details and the light over here. Every little corner has details, even this little corner here. Windows have the granite trim. All the doors have granite trim with that stainless steel or nickel doorknobs and fixtures. 
This is like one of the former uh, convent rooms. Looks like it was modernized sometime later. But you can see all these amazing details. Sorry, I gotta be quiet in here. Like this. All this iron work is still in here. And then there's a beautiful shot there. You can see the wood floor starting to buckle. Amazing interior window even. Nothing else really in here. So this leads toward one of the hallways. From the lobby, as you see. So we'll go look. This is a cool hallway here. curtains like maybe a former office room or some sort. Wilted fan, of course. Art Deco fireplace. A cool Art Deco fireplace. A little off-centered on the fan there. That is a beautiful fireplace. Another big empty room here. But if we come this way, this is where the gym is. Unfortunately, it's filled with furnishings, like antiques and stuff. See, there's center court. So, I mean, it's nothing special, but I figured you should at least check it out. Old stuff in here. Old fire alarm here. And even like the exit sign is probably original. So cool. So we just came from over there. Now we're on the other side of the lobby. And it's amazing because they even have all of the uh, ironwork still here. This hallway also has the pink, just not as prominent in the details. Still got good decay though. But it does have the library. I think this was a library or something.
think these elevators that I was showing you earlier might actually be like nickel plated or something because the stainless steel would be weathered and tethered. This place has been vacant for 30, over 30 years. So I'm very curious to know. But this is the main staircase. That right there, you'll see in a second, is the chapel. But look at the iron work. If we go this way, back toward the main entrance where we got in. Look at those marble walls. Granite, like granite details and bordering and then the iron railing with the wood handrail. You can see it like this. See that? So sick. Each side matches. You can see the Art Deco main entrance down there, right there. So this is actually the library. The one downstairs was the ballroom. So I made a error earlier when I said I thought it was the library. So I guess the map we saw said library, but just above it. So this is obviously the library. No books, but you can see the shelving units are all here. And some of those details on the wood wood columns, red curtains, some of the fixtures are still on there. It's just amazing though, because there's wood details in here too. See all the wilted fans, more shelving units, curtains, chapel. A chapel. Some of the pews are still set up, but most of them aren't. Still in piles over here. But you can see these are mostly original to the building. They took the stained glass out, but still got some incredible details. Like the confessional over there. Pretty cool. Here's the altar. Cool little altar. Still got like an old organ piano here. See the scattered pews. And then there's the balcony up there. We'll go up there in a minute. Remnants from the chapel. See, this is really decayed through here. But these are all the residential rooms. There's not much really to them. Most of them are just empty. See, so this would be like where they slept. Where the, the Maybe the nuns would sleep. Convent rooms. Another one. All of them have like different um, curtains and stuff. Yeah, nothing much to it. This is their common area for 
kitchen and cooking and probably eating. Stairway. We'll go this way. This shall be toward the classrooms. Which, there's nothing much left in the classrooms either. But it is cool just because of how historic this place is. Pre-Depression era, Art Deco style. You just don't see anything like this too often. Just rooms. Again, these are all patient rooms. They're not patient rooms, but these are all residential rooms, I guess. Still fixtures on the walls. Fans are wilting, decay. See, it's pretty cool. So we're above the main staircase that grand staircase going to the balcony of the chapel. As you can see, this welcomes you into the chapel. Still got a lot of details, including the iron railings, the incredible plaster work, woodwork, more woodwork. Even the beautiful organ is here. This organ is super old and super cool and pretty decent shape, actually. Casavant. Pretty cool. And then if you turn around, I can get the chapel. Balcony's a little higher than I would like for the vantage point, but you can see it. Therapy tub. This one's got a curtain. Another hydrotherapy tub. Pretty similar to that other one. Looks identical actually, but a little more intact maybe. All those gauges and knobs over there. 
even over there. Just pretty darn cool though. See, there's porches you can kind of go all down to and look out. They're padlocked though. But this is the very top of the tower. So we're literally at one of the highest points of the building. Pretty cool. Lots of decay. So this is actually the peak of the tower. ladder sucks. But yeah, you can see it. Pretty cool, huh? That's the tower, the peak. Found this cool little room. Looks like these shut and they're like shelving units or mailboxes. And then if you go over here, Nice little wheelchair. Old school wheelchair at that. Pretty cool though. Looks like there's mail even in one of these. Go through here and see what it is. Do not use. It's unlocked. stage and then if you come over here you can see all the seats pretty cool go back to the stage not bad not bad for a random find on a little road trip. Just passed it, thought, let's check it out. And lo and behold, it's a pretty good one. You still come in here. There's a sign on that door over there. If you look at all these old beds and wheelchairs and stuff. Just tons and tons of stuff, even over there. Lots and lots of beds. Chair beds. One more final look at this immaculate lobby on this random beauty that we found on a road trip. You just never know. Oh, amazing. Well, that'll wrap it up for the abandoned historic Art Deco convent. It was a real beauty, so we hope that you enjoyed this video as much as we did. Thank you guys so much for the support, and always remember, subscribe to Abandoned Central to get all the latest and greatest videos. Thank you guys so much for the support. Until next time.